Good afternoon, John. Great to have you here at Mobile World Congress 2019. So, uh, right. obviously, Dell and Intel does a lot of great work together, and with 5G, it seems to be all over the show. Um, tell me a little bit about your uh, packet accelerator cards, the features of them, and what it means to the whole 5G ecosystem. Yeah, yeah. Well, with the move to 5G, uh, Intel is really transforming the economics of, mm -hmm. of deploying those services to the carriers. And one of the key things is we can run NFV in, in, in software, but in some use cases, it's very advantageous to do some acceleration within the FPGAs. Okay. So a big part of what we're trying to bring with our pack cards is really that acceleration and, and bringing the total performance and scalability of the solutions down. So for example, if you use an FPGA card, many times you can, you can accelerate the NFV uh, by 2 to, to 10x. Okay. So how does it fit uh, the overall uh, acceleration cards in the overall ecosystem of the architecture with the processors, uh, what's offloaded on the processor, what's offloaded on the pack cards? Yeah, so our pack cards today, um, we use these pack cards today for a number of uh, networking and application offloads. Okay. Um, and in the case of this example that we're showing here today, we're, we're uh, basically using uh, Xeon scalable processors and through a standard DPDK interface, we're accelerating some functions. So I believe you had a big announcement today with this card. We announced this card today. Um, this is a, a, a 100 gig card, and it has uh, two Intel NIC chips on it, as well as uh, an FPGA on top of it. And that's one of the things we're uh, demonstrating here today in the, in the booth. So, John, can you actually walk us through the demo here where the pack card is accelerating the data and what it means on the architecture itself? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're showing here is a, um, a layer three DPDK packet forwarding application. And the FPGA in this case is really managing the load balancing across the cores. So you can see in this case, we actually were running 100 gig through a single uh, FPGA card. And you can see here that the, the uh, FPGA is distributing that load across the different cores. So clearly taking the load away from the, the core or CPU itself and allow the CPU to do other things. So this is a dedicated uh, accelerator to allow the deep packet inspection. Absolutely, you yes. can free up the cores to run some other functions on that. And with that volume of data coming through, obviously we need technology like that. So yeah. I think it's a great demonstration of the innovation that you and the team are developing yeah. in the 5G space. Yeah, today, today we're showing um, 100 gig per card, so we can do 200 gig in a server, but we have a roadmap to actually take that up to 400 gig. Good. So can you share a little bit about the uh, relationship and what we're doing with Dell uh, Technologies and Intel in the whole 5G ecosystem? Uh, Intel's really focused on the end-to-end -end solution from RAN to cloud. Okay. And the wonderful thing about Intel is we have this ecosystem of partnerships that we really work with. So one of the, good, the great things about being uh, partners with Dell and, and our other partner firms um, is really together we can bring complete solutions. So yeah. us bringing in, obviously, the hardware accelerators, Dell bringing in, in the servers, and Affirm bringing in the VNF. And really, the three companies combined are really going to bring a great solution out to the carrier. And I think that's a necessary component in this ecosystem. It's, a, it's based on partnerships like Intel, Dell, Affirm. So I think this is great. Absolutely. Okay, thanks, John. All Appreciate right. it. Thank you.